Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wonder of Anime YouTube channel. My name is Lisa and for today's video, it is my July manga haul. I am so excited. I got a lot of good stuff in July and full disclaimer, I actually want a Amazon gift card at work and I went in because girl, I had money, it's money. <laughs> and I was like, I don't need anything else. Let me get some manga. So I went in this month for manga maybe maybe not bigger uh one of my biggest manga hauls in recent time either way i just went in and i got a lot of things that i had been wanting to get so i am excited as per usual i have split up the manga haul by where i got it from so that's amazon barnes and noble and i got a gift and a manga gifted to me so let's get started i'm gonna start off with the gift that i got and that is from my friend Naja, my Otome queen, if you have been on this channel. Uh, I talk about her all the time because she has really just pushed me into this yaoi world. And she's been such a guiding light because she always has bomb recommendations. And she had an extra volume of this series called Ten Count. She actually accidentally purchased two of volume number four. And I'm starting off with this one because I ended up then buying other volumes from Amazon but she said it was good so definitely had to go and grab that I'm gonna start off with my Barnes & Noble haul though because this haul was smaller than than my Amazon haul so I'm just gonna get dive into that first I will start off with this series is not yaoi surprise surprise uh, called love of kill and this actually i really don't know a lot about it but i did see that they are making this into an anime and when i just saw like the anime preview little thing that they did like some images as well as like everyone on my timeline going crazy i was like let me make a mental note about this because it's definitely something that i want to check out so when i went to barnes and noble i kind of went with like i wasn't looking for something in particular i just had extra money wanted to buy some manga landed upon this and it was like hell yeah girl Gra grab this uh grab it now because what happens and what has been happening with this whole manga shortage is that stuff is just flying off the shelves and if you see it and you know you're going to be interested in grab it and then read it or we'll do whatever later so i grabbed these two and i'm excited to get into it they just even just the covers just look so good immediately i knew i was like oh shit this is the the anime that's going to be coming out so i'm excited and i will say because i said like i'm the type like if i want a manga see it grab it i'm very confident in buying stuff even if later it turns out i don't like it just because of how popular manga is right now that it's easy to resell so it's kind of like Oh, if I get this, I don't like it or it didn't work out, I can sell it later on. The next thing that I got is our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. This, I'm not going to go too into details with some of these because they are part of my blog post manga reviews that I'll be doing. But I had been seeing this one on Amazon, but every time I would go to order it, like it was sold out. So I was like, whatever, I'll just grab it in person. I also got Escape Journey. Now, this is one and the other one too is like a volume one i always don't like buying just one volume i i like especially like reading manga i love like a one shot or it is done is contained in this but it kind of just looked really good and i could wait around i don't like waiting but i could wait around for the other volume to come out this was a mistake this i will say right up this was a mistake because this i didn't realize was part of a series that got like millions of manga so I may not keep this, but it is the world's greatest uh, first love. This also is an anime I found out. I thought this was, you know, this didn't have like a number one on it. So I didn't realize that it was part of a series and that there's going to be more, there's way more volumes of this out. So that was my bad, but it was cute. It was cute. I may not keep it though, cause I'm not, it wasn't that captivating where I want the whole series and then this last one I haven't read yet but it is boys run the riot I had seen Naja talk about this I've been seeing this kind of float around just because it's a very progressive story or you know like a story that is relevant in real life so I picked this up again these like big covers I've said this every video they just every single time just take my heart because I love a huge volume 
Now for my Amazon, the Amazon part of my haul. I, like I said, I had a gift card, so I went in. This one I don't think was part of the gift card purchase, but I saw it and immediately, the day that they announced that it was available, I went ahead and ordered it, and that is Seaside Stranger. I haven't even opened it yet. It's a lot of stuff I don't open until like I'm ready about to read it. This volume here, I will link, put a little card. I already read it and I watched the movie and I absolutely fell in love with it. So when they announced, and by they I mean Seven Seas Entertainment, because I started following a lot of the manga publishers on Twitter. Um, girl, they put that tweet hadn't even been up a minute and I went ahead and grabbed it because it wasn't that it wasn't out already. Like I believe it was out, but they didn't do like a restock. So they announced this shit was restocked. Cool. Went ahead, take my money, ordered it right away. This series, um, now I think the rest of this was, except for one, was all ordered like as part of that huge manga buy that I did with the gift card. I got Cherry Magic. This look cute. I haven't finished reading it yet. It is part of a series, but it just looks so cute. Again, I'm a sucker for these bigger volumes. And I think I could tell that it was one of the bigger ones, although I ordered it online. It is so funny and it, it kind of is this uh, trope in a lot of yaoi. I don't know if it's in Josie too, because I haven't read too many Josie in this um like with this trope but it's like that if you're a virgin by when you're 30 you get magical powers i've seen this in a bunch of different yaoi so i thought that that concept was cute and i grabbed this this is volume one and there are more volumes coming or like that have started coming out i'm gonna read finish reading this first i think uh, i i liked what i read so far i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna order the rest but i was like let me finish it so I don't have a incident that happened with Cutie and the Beast where I didn't even finish it I ordered the second one and then I don't like the series no more so I'll do that as I mentioned because Naja gave me 10 count 4 I went ahead and got 10 count 1 and 2 now I couldn't find 3 uh so I just got 1 and 2 I am gonna read these they're, they're all like wrapped uh i'm trying to work on some different content so i haven't read like all the new stuff that i've gotten yet but i absolutely am excited because this this story looked kind of crazy and this guy got a man he knew covid was coming i don't i don't even know what the series is about but like i said Naja co-signed it and when she I trust her recommendation so much, especially because we have a lot of similar tastes in some areas. So I'm excited to get into this. The next couple ones that I got were to like series that I've already, if you guys been watching other videos, you guys know that I've already been working on. And that is, first of all, Hori Mia. I got volumes five, six, and seven. And I think I mentioned this in my last video, but with the Hori Mia anime, the mangas were like super hard to find and buy. I told you guys in my last video, I got one through four at Barnes and Noble. Saw these were available on Amazon. So just picked up five, six, and seven. I am definitely wanting to read it soon. So I'm trying to uh, finish collecting this because I think all the volumes are out already uh, because I want to read it. I just need it all so then I can just binge it and have the time of my life because I do love this. I love the anime so, so much, and I did interview Remy's voice actor, Jalita, and she was like, girl, you need to read the manga. And I was like, say less, I will read the manga. I am so, so excited to dive into this. So I'm almost done. This is definitely gonna be a priority for me uh, in the next couple of months to finish this. And of course, uh, definitely had to get my B stars. <laughs> It's so funny because I'm always like, oh, I, I love Beastars. I saw the first season. I still need to go watch the second season. And I'd be telling people like, yo, I read it. I, like I saw it, I immediately went and grabbed the manga. And they're like, oh, how's the manga? And I'm like, I don't know, I haven't read it yet. And I've been collecting Beastars for over a year now. Like I think I literally started as soon as I finished that first season last year. I haven't even touched these, but I just heard that it's so good and I really, really loved it. So I definitely just want to keep collecting them and we'll I will get I will get to them eventually I think these are 12 and 13 I think there may be 14s out I've 
I forgot how many it's supposed to be in total and I still think it's ongoing or it's about to end soon. So I had to go grab my B-Stars. The last one that I got wasn't part of this big manga haul that I did. It is one that I just pre-ordered because if I like it enough, I'm gonna pre-order it. And y'all already know that is Sweat and Soap. Sweat and Soap, of course, uh, link to the video that I did about it. I love it so much. I actually haven't read this yet because I kind of just want to reread the series again and read it. And I just love Sweat and Soap so much. So of course, whenever there's a new volume available, I do a little pre-order and, you know, just to make sure I got it when it come out, when it drops, I'm ready to, to dive in. That has been my July manga haul. As you saw, I went in. It is already August. It's like halfway through August right now. I think it's August 16th today. And I haven't been purchasing as much i'm trying to you know fall back i want you guys to know that the next couple of manga hauls for the next couple months i'm really just cutting back only getting series i'm pretty sure i'm only getting series that are adding on to what i already have like getting you know finishing up horimiya and you know if another sweat and soap drops and things like that and as opposed to trying to get new series unless it's something that i feel like i cannot live without just because, you know, one, I'm running out of space. I'm actually going to be doing an updated manga collection video. I only have done one like that where I did my clamp. Ooh, this is one of my first YouTube videos when I was like, I'm going to become a YouTuber about anime. And it was just, just my clamp collection. And first of all, my clamp collection from that day has tripled, I'm pretty sure. And then my other manga, which is just bursting at the seam. I'm going to be doing a video where I just go through my collection and I'm excited about that because I've done a lot of manga hauls since then, but I haven't, you know, let me walk you through my entire collection so y'all can see kind of cohesively what are the things that I'm interested in, which ones I've read because spoiler alert, there are a lot on here that I haven't even touched. When I love something, I just wanna have it. I think I mentioned this before, for me, manga is so has such a high readability where I will reread the same manga multiple times as opposed to with anime I don't usually go back and rewatch a series I'll maybe rewatch a couple episodes or certain scenes I will be doing a updated manga video soon I think I'm gonna wait till I get my right stuff order that I placed almost two months ago I think haven't gotten it yet but once I get that order I think that I will do a complete you know what's my manga collection looking like right now thank you guys so much for watching this video what did you grab in july i'm i'm like so excited about some of the stuff that i got in august but like that august ain't done yet so you're gonna have to wait to get that video but i got some good stuff and i will see you on the next one peace